Hello, this is uh, Jacob from Global Gaming 101. Um, <clears throat> I'm not using the good microphone right now. I'm actually using my camera microphone because uh, I really can't hook it up right now. But just a disclaimer real quick. I wasn't camping. I forgot what I was doing. I think I picked up the phone for somebody. I do it twice, but it wasn't that long. Hold up. So yeah, I'm going to do it again in another second or so, but I'll fast forward that part. Um, this was actually a pretty decent game, but I'm not doing. I'm not just doing this clip just to do this clip. I know this channel is just, just, just uh started right now, but I. All right, here it is. It's gonna be right here, and I fast forward through it, and I fail with the theater mode. Um, I just wanted to say I might be getting a PS3. If you couldn't tell by the D-pad on the uh right hand side, it this is uh Xbox 360. Now, I'm thinking about getting a PS3 with uh, Modern Warfare 2, and um, I know the graphics are a bit better on the Xbox, uh, with the uh, a bit of the aliasing and colors. That, that's just about it, and the textures seem uh, a bit be a bit uh, darker, not darker, not not lighter, but more better, better even to black level. No fanboyism involved right there. And I want to get a PS3 because, first off, it's a Blu-ray player. It's a pretty damn, it's a it's a Blu-ray player. You know what I mean? I don't have a Blu-ray player yet, so I can use it to watch Blu-ray movies. Plus, my sister's kind of left in the dirt. She just has an original Xbox, and she doesn't have an Xbox Live like me. And I think with a PS3 and Modern Warfare 2, I think she'd be okay. Although I know the controls are different with the D-pads, not the D-pads, but uh, the uh, the triggers and everything. And I'm actually pretty confident in the Switch. I like this uh, kill right here. And, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm new to PlayStation, and I might be getting a 40 gig PS3. I know it has no PS2 com backwards compatibility or anything. I don't think any of them do anymore. Not even the old ones with the firmware updates. But you never know. Well, actually, you probably do know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I, I just got my uh, first uh, helicopter right here. And I'm just trying to kill this guy. Hit markers. I love those guys. The lovely hit markers. And I believe some other dude runs up, and I kill him instead. And yeah, I only got 15 bullets yet uh, left and stuff. But yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to get a PS3. I really hope I do. I just sold. I'm in the process of selling my Wii for 90 bucks. Um, I got one person that uh, tr tried to buy it, then he just like all of a sudden didn't respond ever again. And we were emailing for a while, and then there's another person that wants to buy the Wii, so we contacted them instead. And yeah, 90 bucks is uh, not that bad, I guess. I don't really know how much a used Wii cost. I just charged 90 and I sold the Wii Fit and all the Wii and all my Wii games and in the Wii Fit with the Wii board I sold for 40 on Craigslist uh, friggin Play and Trade and GameStop only wanted 20 well Play and Trade wanted 20 and GameStop only wanted like a few cents and they didn't let they wouldn't let me sell the Wii board so I'm glad I didn't go with either because I got double as much as I would have got from play and trade and probably like quad or four times to six times as much than I would have got with GameStop so I'm all pretty happy right now it was 40 bucks I guess it was half off you can get it for like 90 so it's a little bit more than half off for the used copy and the used board but I think the person is going to be most satisfied so I really hope I can get this PS3. It currently has a yellow light of death, but he told me it should he should be done uh, repairing it by uh, Saturday, and he'd contact me when it's done. And I'm thinking about using some of the Wii money to get it. He's actually charging like 90 bucks, so uh, I want to make sure he's not scamming me or anything. Plus, uh, we're gonna probably try it out at his place. The whole family just go there or whatever. I don't know. 
But yeah, I, I put um, on Craigslist wanted old Wii for like 90 bucks and he contacted me, so that's great. It's all good. I didn't really think I was going to get anybody, but this person responded. I was like, holy crap. This guy's nice. But there's always a catch, and I'm hoping this catch is just that it had the red ring it, or the yellow light of death. <sighs> but I used 40 big, I used 40 gig PS3. It's a PS3, so I'm pretty confident. Although, unlike most PS3 gamers, I'm actually going to treat it like an Xbox. I'm going to take ultimate care with it, ultimate care of it, like if it was my Xbox. Most PS3 users treat it like it's a piece of garbage, even though they think it's the best console out there. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do and everything. <sighs> I'm just killing people. 22 and what's 22 and five? I don't know. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just uh, just killing this guy and just waiting for the world to spin. I'm just kidding around, but still, I want to know what the score is right now. I think I'm gonna get another helicopter if I didn't already, because I get two helicopters in this game, which is pretty decent. And plus, I just I just did this video because I really wanted to talk, and I wanted your uh, guys' opinion on what game to get. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I put up my helicopter, and he just walks down, and I kill him. So yeah. Uh, I don't know what the score is yet. That's my napalm strike, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the game's about to end. That was my second helicopter, I think. And I tried killing this guy, but the game ends. So, yeah. I want your guys' opinion, and goodbye.